Welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to work with a stepper motor. For this tutorial you'll need a breadboard, an Arduino, a piece of cardboard, two male to male jumper wires, six male to female jumper wires and I have two pairs of them. These are paired by four and these by two. A Phillips screwdriver, the stepper controller board, the stepper motor itself, an external adapter between 5 and 12 volts and a plug which you can convert your external adapter to two Phillips screws. The stepper motor is used in for example hard disks or uh, printers. If you have the paper moving through your printer then the printer needs to know where the paper is and how far it got through. So that's basically controlled with a stepper motor. Also, if you have an inkjet printer, the movement of the print head is also controlled by a stepper. As you can see here, the axis is not centered inside the motor, and that's for a reason. This motor contains several gears. In this example, it contains four different gears, and it has the advantage that the motor can increase its force to the main axis. The nice thing about this is that, for example, if you build a 3D printer, you can actually give more power because of the use of these gears and you can also give it more control. Now I'm going to show you how to use this stepper motors ourselves. At the bottom you see four pins. This one is to enable the motor driver board. If I'm removing this jumper, the motor board will do nothing. Then there are two other pins, which are the plus and the minus. You can connect between 5 and 12 volts on these pins. In this tutorial, we're going to use an external adapter, and there's a reason for that. Motors can draw a lot of power. The problem is when we draw this power through the Arduino, we might damage the board. So therefore we use an external adapter, which is the power supply for our motor. The Arduino only controls the motor with these four pins. So basically the, we have two circuits, one circuit with the Arduino on these four pins and one with the power supply for the motor on these two pins. To get started we first connect the motor to our driver board and we use the four female to male connectors on the in pins. The next step is to prepare a power plug. What I did, I took one male to male jumper wire and connected to the minus of the power plug. And I took our male to female connector, the two pair, which was left, where I connect the yellow to the plus. So now it's time to connect everything together. The yellow wire of the power plug is connected to the plus on both the driver board and the external power plug. The minus of the power plug is connected to the minus of the breadboard and the green wire connects the minus of the breadboard with the minus of the driver board. If you go to the course material you'll see a schematic of this whole setup so it makes it easier for you to follow all the wires and where they're going. Now it's time to connect our driver board with the Arduino. You connect these wires to pin 8, 9, 10 and 11 on the Arduino. Last you connect the ground of your Arduino to the minus on your breadboard so it connects to this black wire for our power plug and the green wire which is the minus from a driver board. Finally we add a piece of cardboard to the motor so we can see which way it runs. If you look at the first line of our code on line 21, we see we include a library called Excel Stepper. That's the library we're using to connect to our uh, motor driver. So what we're going to do is install this library and then we're able to compile this sketch and you can see what it all does. So I'm searching for Excel Stepper and then you see here by Mike McCauley, there's a library and you can press the install button to install this library. So then I've defined four motor pins, so pin 8, 9, 10 and 11 matching to the in 1, 2, 3 and 4 on the ULN 2003 driver board. 
On line 28, I have defined the steps per revolution. So these are the amount of steps the stepper needs to tick to have one full revolution. So we have 64 steps of the stepper motor in order to give the motor 360 degrees. However, we use all the gears and stuff. So actually the axis on the motor, on the outside of the motor, when passed through all these gears, is actually moving 5.625 degrees per revolution of the motor. And we're going to use these two numbers when we need to calculate the amount of steps per degree of the external axis on the motor. On line 40 we define which stepper we're going to use. There are a lot of types. You have the full 2 wire, half 3 wire. But I know that our, our stepper is a half 4 wire. And then we need to define the four pins used on the motor and just corresponding with the pins defined on line 23 to 26. And from line 42 we see the setup with a serial monitor uh, initializing. And then 45 to 49 are actually the stepper functions, the stepper calls. So we start with setting a maximum speed of a thousand. You can change that to anything you want. Line 46 sets the acceleration, and acceleration means that the motor will not start and stop immediately, it will go fluently. So you can play around with this number to see the differences. Line 47 sets the speed, which is the speed the motor moves, and every stepper has a certain max speed, so you can set it higher, but nothing will happen then, but just use the max speed. Then we tell the stepper to move to a certain position, and we use a helper function, which is our deck two steps, and that's degrees, two number of steps. And we have set 90 degrees. So when we execute this code, this will be initialized and then the stepper will run through this position. And after it, it will stop. You can call run all the time, but as long as there are no new instructions, it will stay the way it is. So let's have a look at uh, this deck two steps function. Uh, Actually, pretty simple, but you need to keep in mind we have all these steps per revolution things. So what it does is it, it takes a float, which is a number of degrees, and we return the steps per revolution divided by the degrees per revolution multiplied by the degrees. Why is this? Well, we need to convert the number of iterations of the stepper motor and convert it to the actual exit axis on the motor with all the gears in between. So here's a calculation example. The motor uses 46 steps per revolution. So we divide that to the amount of degrees. So if we want to move it 45 degrees, then one degree is the step per, uh, steps per revolution divided by the number of degrees per step, multiplied by the degrees we want to rotate. As a result, it's 512 steps. So the motor needs to tick 512 steps in order to move the external axis for 45 degrees. Well, I created a function for this, so you can actually say any number of degrees, and it will convert it to the number of steps. If you have another stepper motor with a different amount of steps per revolution, you can just change it here in line 28 and 29. When you've uploaded your sketch to the Arduino, you should see your arrow moving 90 degrees. So I connected my external power supply, I connected my Arduino, but nothing happens. This is because we set all the code inside the setup. So the setup already started and then I connected my external power supply. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset the board with this button. Now it resets and now we'll see movement. So as you can see, it moves 45 degrees, exactly as defined in our code. And what you also see is that it goes very smoothly. It's not linear. So if you look, it starts slowly, then goes faster, and then it slows down again. So in our code, we set the acceleration to 100, and this is what the acceleration does. It creates a smooth start and a smooth break. 
So you've learned how to control the stepper motor. And now I want to challenge you to create an Arduino sketch which shows this behavior. As you can see, the arrow is moving back and forward all the time. You should now be able to program this yourself. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and I'll try to help you. But if you're really, really stuck, this code is also in the course material, which is linked in the description of this video. Good luck and see you next time.